Rack Zephyr is a model which is trained to act as helpful re-ranking assistant built on Zephyr 7 billion parameter model. Rank Zephyr Base is the model that follows single state fine tuning on the Rank GPT 3.5 model, while Rank Zephyr Full is the model that is further fine tuned on Rank GPT 4 reorderings of OpenAI's adder to orderings for 5000 queries. A re rank AI model is a type of model that takes an initial ranking of items such as search results, product recommendations, or news articles and reorders them based on additional criteria or features. It aims to improve the relevance, diversity, or quality of the original ranking by considering factors such as user preferences, context, or domain-specific knowledge. Re-ranking models often utilize techniques such as neural networks, reinforcement learning, or collaborative filtering to dynamically adjust the ranking order according to the specific needs or preferences of users or applications. In RAG or Retrieval Augmented Generation, it is quite useful. And in RAG, re-ranking models play a crucial role by refining the selection of candidate items retrieved from a large dataset before generating responses. By re-ranking, the model can prioritize the most relevant or diverse candidates enhancing the quality and coherence of generated content. This approach helps generate more accurate, contextually appropriate responses in applications such as recommendation engines, content creation platforms, which ultimately improves user satisfaction and engagement. Now, in this video, we will be installing this Rank Zephyr with Rank LLM and then we will run an end-to-end -end test. And all this is will be done locally. So let's go to my local system, which is an Ubuntu 22.04 and I have one GPU card of 16 GB VRAM plus 32 GB of memory. Let me clear my screen. I'll be using Anaconda to create the virtual environment first. So make sure that you have Anaconda installed. If you don't know what Anaconda is and how to use it, then I would highly suggest to search my channel and then uh, you can easily install the Anaconda. I have various videos around that. So we are going to create an Anaconda virtual environment called as Rank LLM. Let's wait for it to get created. Just type Y here or yes. It is going to install all the stuff in that environment. And this will keep everything separate from rest of your system. Let's activate the Rank LLM and you can see that in parentheses, now we have all of the stuff which is needed and rank LLM is activated. Okay, now let's uh, install PyTorch with CUDA and I already have installed on my local system but I'm installing it in this virtual environment to keep it separate. Let's press enter and it is going to install if it is not present. It seems it's already there which is good. Let's wait for it to finish. Everything is installed. Let me clear my screen. Now let's um, clone this GitHub repo, which is of rank LLM, and I will drop the link in video description. And let me make it a bit bigger so that you'll be able to see. And let me paste the URL of GitHub repo. And this is the GitHub repo I was showing. And in order to grab the URL, all you need to do is to just scroll up, click on this green button and grab this URL. And this is what I have put it in there. Okay, so let me go back to my local system. Press enter. Let's wait for it to load. That is done. Let me go into that. Let's do ls-ltr. There should be a requirements.txt file which we need to install. So let me install all the requirements with the help of this um, pip command. So for that, we need to run this command. Let's wait for all the prerequisites to get installed. And this might take a bit of a time depending upon what is installed on your system and what is not. And you can see that it is downloading a lot of stuff and it is going to install it. So let's wait for it to finish. All the requirements are done. Now let me clear my screen. 
and now in order to run it all you need to do is to give this command now if you look at this command what is happening is that we are simply running this uh, sample file rank run rank llm.py we are passing it this model rank sapphire now the good thing about this rank llm is that you can pass other re-ranking models too like rank vicuna and there are a few others and then we are just specifying top k data set is this is being used and in sample and also we are using gpt context size of this now this will take a bit of a time i'm not going to run it in full i'll just run it and then we will um, just wait for it to come back but uh, this is the final step this is going to download the model and run it and of course this will take a bit of a time and speed will depend upon your gpu card but the point of here is that if you're looking to use something in your some sort of ranking in your retrieval augmented generation pipeline then you can use this rank llm with this re-ranking models in order to get the rank and then you can just simply uh, feed this in your rack pipeline that is the main idea behind it so this is loading the model at the moment which is a uh, rank zephyr and i will let it run and the model size is the first shard is just less than 5 gig so i will let it download and run because it will take long time so let me show you the research behind this rank zephyr which is a very very fine read and if you are into re-ranking and heavily used rag applications that i would highly suggest that you read through this paper because uh, ronak pradeep sahil sharif mogatam jimmy lane have done wonderful work on this one and in this paper what is happening is that they have presented this rag zephyr which is a novel open source llm optimized for zero shot list wise re-ranking and their extensive experiments demonstrate that rank zephyr patches and occasionally surpasses the effectiveness of much larger proprietary models such as rank gpt4 the significance of their work lies not only just in re-ranking effectiveness but also in reproducibility and accessibility setting a new standard for the communities and this work really delves into multiple facets of re-ranking with prompt decoder models and they have also shown that progressive re-ranking generally yields higher quality output in being able to promote more relevant documents they also show how the choice of first stage retrieval model impacts downstream re-ranking effectiveness in rank zephyr and other list wise method and they have done a lot of other things in this paper such as they have explored settings in the teacher model candidate source and sampling strategies that lead to the most efficient and effective instruction fine tuning and one of the highlight is that there there one of the finding is that also that they highlight the crucial role of data augmentation in enhancing robustness and then the effectiveness of raxifier on the novel eval test set comprising uncontaminated queries and passages addresses potential concerns about memorization and potential for a real world application so a real fine read if i must say and i will drop the link to it in video's description and on the other side as you can see that it has downloaded the model then it downloaded the index and then it downloaded these qrels qrels stands for query relevance and it's a standard format used in information retrieval and evaluation task particularly in the field of information retrieval and search engines. So these QRELs represent assessment of relevance between a query and a set of document retrieved in response to that query. And that is where it is running it. And as I mentioned already, it has taken uh, like half an hour, downloading the model, downloading the index, extracting it, and then now it is making the pass. And that is going to take some time and I will let it run. I will also drop the link to this paper and uh, GitHub repo and model card of this Zephyr in the video's description. This one, and you can read further information about this model and about how it has been trained, and especially uh, look at this re ranking one where it has performed awesomely well. So the re ranking process has finished, took around close to two hours. So if you see that it has come up with all the ranks here 
and you can see that not only it has re-ranked it but also has provided us this uh, values around ndcg underscore cut now this ndcg stands for discounted cumulative gain and it measures the relevance of documents returned by a search or recommendation system in this case this rank sapphire considering both the relevance of the document and its position in the ranking ndcg normalizes the dcg score to a value between 0 and 1 making it more interpretable and comparable across different data set and queries and this cut is basically cut off the cut of parameter specifies the number of items or documents to consider in the ranking evaluation it is often used to simulate real world scenarios where users only examine a limited number of top ranked results so this ndct underscore cut it is it evaluates the quality of the re-ranked list of items or documents up to a specific cutoff. It considers both the relevance of the items and their positions in the re-ranked list, providing a comprehensive measure of the re-ranking algorithm's effectiveness in retrieving relevant items within the top rank results. So pretty good. You can see that it is the values between 0 and 1 and all the top ranks are here. And then your um, the most one, top one is up. And then it goes on and on. It has used this huge data set, which was around 9 gig of size, 9.30 gigabyte. So all in all, a great um, LLM for re-ranking, I would say. I think it's one of the best I have seen so far. So highly recommend it if you're looking for a private local LLM. This rack there for 7 billion parameter really tops the charts, especially due to its 7 billion parameter size that's it guys let me know what do you think i hope that you enjoyed it if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching